71, a motorcycle crash left our next guest, and he prefers to be known as W. Mitchell, without fingers and with severe burns to his face. In 1975, while piloting his own plane, a crash landing left him paralyzed and confined to It's not what happens to you. It's what you do with what happens to you. Stuff happens. Life happens. We call this accident and miracles, but my next guest could certainly be called indestructible. This is Mitchell. I, I tell people again and again and again that you don't have to use these obstacles as an excuse to stop, to fail. You can use them as an excuse to succeed, to, to learn a new way to do something. Mm. And, and you don't have to be burned or paralyzed to have big things happen, because a lot of us have big things happen. Mitchell's life is an example of the title of his book. It's not what happens to you, it's what you do about it. After about two months, the plastic surgeon came to see me. He wanted to talk to me about my face. He said, Mitchell, literally, your face has been burned off. What, what did you look like before the fire? Could you describe yourself, or maybe someone from home could bring in a photograph? And I couldn't remember any pictures from home specifically, but Nulon Shaw, one of my other wonderful nurses, Florence Nightingale-like people, remembered my wallet had survived the fire and dug it out of the drawer and of course the doctor rummaged through it and naturally the first thing he came across was the license and he and he pulled it out and he looked at it for a moment or two when he looked up at me one more time i was really wondering what was in his mind you probably are aware they don't have mirrors in burn patients rooms I hadn't seen myself yet i had no idea of what i looked like finally he took one last long look at the driver's license shook his head and said god i know we can do better than this <laughs> and they did he's known as the man who would not be defeated to say that w mitchell is an extraordinary man is an understatement he has looked into corners of the human experience that few of us ever see and emerged with a vision of life that is full of light, humor, and insight. W. Mitchell proves quite vividly that it doesn't matter what advantages or disadvantages you were born with, it's not the conditions or the externals of your life that will determine your destiny. What matters is what decisions you make about how your life is going to be. The decisions that will write the story of your destiny. But every day the orderlies put me back in this chair and every day I went out in the gymnasium in Craig Hospital and every day I got a little bit stronger. And every day another obstacle became an opportunity. And every day another dark moment at least had a little light shining in. And every day I hated myself a little less. And I loved myself a little more. But every day when I went out in that gymnasium, I watched a young guy, a guy who'd been a mountain climber, an outdoorsman. He had hurt himself climbing and he would never climb a mountain again. His life was over. He would never race a 10-speed bike again. His life had no purpose. He would never ski the mag magnificent unbroken white powder of a Colorado's winter day again. There was no beauty left for him. And after watching him for a particularly long period, one afternoon, I went over to him. And I said, you know something? Before I was paralyzed, there were 10,000 things I could do. Now there are 9,000. Yeah, I could spend the rest of my life dwelling on the 1,000 that I lost, or I can concentrate on the 9,000 that are left. And in my lifetime, if I'm able to do even a few hundred of those things, I'll be one of the most remarkable people on this planet. It's not what happens to you. It's what you choose to do about it that makes all the difference in you. Life's not easy. Life's not fair. Life's life.